is he thinking? He just saw me. Hi, I'm Ethan. I love muzzle loading. So this is the first morning we've been able to get out. It's just a little bit before sunrise here. But um, I just heard my first gobble in about a week. So we're going to get posted up over here in some brush. You can hear the great horned owls going. We'll see if we can bring something in. gobbles this morning back in the same direction but they're even farther away than they were yesterday <clears throat> and we're half a mile closer to where we thought they were yesterday and they sound that much farther away so might not bode well for us this morning So this morning we're back here in the big woods. We crossed the creek just before sunrise and got positioned here against this big old tree here in the fence row. This woods is a little bit different and you can't really see far. There's been some storm damage back in here so there's quite a bit of undergrowth. What I hope is that we can bring something in um, as it kind of moves through to feed this morning, but we'll see.
So you can believe me or not, but um, we called that Tom in from across the highway. He was not 10 yards in front of me. I just needed him to come just a couple more feet to get around this brush. I kind of used this fallen pine here as a cover. I should have been out farther if I was out five feet farther when I started calling him in. Man, he got, he got right there, man. And then he, I think he just pegged me. I think he just pegged me. I, his tail went down, he stopped talking. He started working his way back. I, I may have got him through this brush here, but I just did not want to take that chance. So close, but wow, just, When I heard him close enough to be across the highway, it was just like, okay. And I thought then, you know, I should move up so I have a better shot. But I thought this might give me enough cover here. And it did just enough. So I'm wondering maybe we come back and we set out tomorrow morning to get here. Hey bud. No sooner did I shut off the camera, he started talking again. So I don't know if he's just real lonely or what, but I just got down right where I was. <laughs> I cannot believe that. What is he thinking? He just saw me. We just called in four toms within 10 yards, laying prone behind an eight inch pine tree. I drew a bead and the cap snapped. That was incredible. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Am I frustrated? Yeah, yeah, I'm frustrated to call in one, he pegs me. Then we call in four before we can leave. Literally, I am 10 feet from where we called in the first gobbler. I think they're pretty well spooked now, so we're gonna head back and make some breakfast, I think. See if anybody believes me. <laughs> see him for the first time.
Oh, so, after a good 40 minutes, I mean it, solid 40 minutes, of calling a Tom in, he came in about 40 yards and just could not make him come in the last 10, 15. He was real skeptical. Um, he went around me almost a full 180 degrees before he decided to boogie. And it wasn't, he didn't decide to go until he came all the way around where I didn't have any cover. We have a couple more days left. I think we're just gonna continue kind of in this area, see if we can bring them in. Um, I can't help but think that yesterday's mishap really um, makes them real cautious on coming in, especially on something they can't see and my limited calling ability here. But, um, wow. Still an awesome way to spend the morning. <laughs> well, I gotta get in the habit of getting into a good position um, when I know that they're pretty far away. I think what hurt me this time and last time um, was I was so nervous to spook them that I just stopped where I was and I didn't, I didn't have any, anything going for me. So, I think a teachable moment. This is our last day to hunt here in Indiana. We're in the same spot that we were yesterday. I think it's a pretty good spot. Um, we have some good cover from the back and we're moved on from where um, we kind of spooked the birds earlier in the week here. So we're gonna set out here. It's kind of a cloudy morning. Yesterday was a lot of rain, um, but I'm hopeful that we see some movement and hear some things here this morning. I'm sure I'll get some questions about having the shotgun out in the rain yesterday. Um, it really did fine and I would like to hope that this is the kind of gun that was carried in the rain hunting and things, um, you know, in past lives and in, in past years really. Um, so when I got home, all I did was rub it down with uh, an oil soaked rag. I use cleanse oil a lot here. It's something I've just always used, my family's always used. Um, and then some of the spots where we started to see some light surface rust, I just hit with an oiled Scotch-Brite to bring that rust up and out. And really this morning, it's still oily, but it really looks good, I think, considering how wet it was out here yesterday. It's been kind of a muted end to the season here with a couple of dreary, quiet, quiet days. But really overall, I, I'm really happy I got out and, and was able to do this. Had some really great experiences, both with turkey and then just with traditional equipment here, having fun out here in the woods, getting an opportunity to test some things and then just enjoy some quiet mornings in the woods. Each time I was out this year, it was just you know about two and a half to three hours out in the woods, but um, just really enjoyable. It's just really nice to be out here, and I think that's the kind of thing many of us need right now. So I encourage you, if you have the opportunity, 
to get out and uh, just enjoy some quiet nature. I mean, please get out and do so. As always, I'm open to any feedback that you might have about this video. I understand it was a little bit different than some of the other stuff that we've been doing here on the channel. Um, I really enjoyed doing it. It took a little while to get this all done uh, just because there was so much involved getting out and filming in the woods like this. So uh, I really learned a lot. And if it's the kind of thing that you'd like to see a little bit more of, or if you have any feedback on what could make it better, or if I should just stop doing it because it was so bad, uh, let me know. As always, I'm really open to that feedback. You can leave it publicly in the comments section, or you can shoot me an email privately at ilovemuzzloading at gmail.com. I really enjoy reading all the feedback regardless uh, of what it is because it helps me learn and it helps me do better and it helps me know what to do um, and, and what's working and what's not. So I, I really appreciate that. Once again, I'm Ethan. I love muzzleloading. We'll catch you next time.